My Jets family, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to the Take Flight Spit and Fire podcast. So as you know, tonight's the first game. All the anticipation, all the waiting, it's over now, right? I mean, it's preseason. It's preseason, but we're going to get to see the starters for a good amount of time. But more importantly, as you guys know, and I've talked about, you know, with preseason, it's really important to seeing the other guys, right? The other guys, the other, you know, you got 11 starters, you know, those other guys, right, <clears throat> on uh, each side of the ball, who potentially is going to make the team, who's going to step up. But with the starters, uh, Robert Sala has said, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, the uh, starters are going to play for about two series or so. He said it should be about a quarter. He said give or take, depending. He said, you know, if they have one really, really great series. They, he went in and saying, you know, if they have a great series, maybe it's one. If they have uh, two series, it's not as great. Maybe they'll have a third. But most likely two series, about a quarter of play. Then we're going to see Joe Flacco in the second string. Then we're going to see Mike White in the third team. Uh, so with that first quarter, because that's when we're going to get to see the starters, and that's what this episode is about. So if you haven't, if you could please subscribe to the channel, it'd be greatly appreciated. We're going to talk about the matchups to look for with when the starters are playing. We're going to talk about the matchups to look for with the Jets Eagles game, which again is tonight at 7 p.m. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. As we know, the Eagles now have A.J. Brown as their top receiver, right? That's their number one wide receiver. Well, D.J. Reed hasn't practiced all week, right? He's been hurt. He's most likely not CB1 anyway, right? It's going to eventually be Sauce Gardner. Right now, him and Bryce Hall are going back and forth, and that's what we're going to talk about. But D.J. Reed's not playing. He hasn't practiced all week. Still has a hammy injury. Sala said it's still day-to-day. -day. He should be back next week. But that means when A.J. Brown plays with the starters, he's going to be either covered by Sauce Gardner or Bryce Hall. Now it may very well, that was in English, <laughs> it very well might be Bryce Hall. It very well might be. But I'm kind of hoping it's Sauce Gardner, and I think you guys are agreeing too, right? Like, I'm hoping it's Sauce Gardner, that we see Sauce on A.J. Brown, and maybe he locks him down, right? So that's a huge matchup to watch. Again, D.J. reads out, so it's going to be either Bryce Hall or Sauce Gardner. I hope it's Sauce. I hope he locks him down, and this is the beginning then. It's, as we know, this is the first game, so it's the beginning of seeing Sauce Gardner. The Sauce Gardner's career is about to begin. So that's the first thing a wide receiver <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, they would have Devontae Smith, but Devontae Smith does look to be injured at the moment. I'm looking at the injury report. He's listed as questionable. He might play. If he does play, he's dynamic in the slot. That's going to be an interesting matchup with Michael Carter II, if he plays. So, moving on to the offensive line, the Eagles have a good one. We know the Eagles have a very good offensive line. I believe, based on what I saw, and I'm going to check again right now... No, okay, earlier Jordan Maylotta was listed as possibly questionable. He's not on what they're listing as their final injury report. So you got Maylotta, Dickerson, uh, you got Kelsey, who's probably going to potentially play a little bit. Lane Johnson, it's a quality line. The Eagles have always had a really good offensive line. They still have a really good offensive line. So how is our defensive line? Because, again, we got a good one now, right? We got Quinnen with Solomon Thomas, John Franklin Myers. We got Carl Lawson. <clears throat> Excuse me, right? We got Jermaine Johnson, the rookie. We got Michael Clemens. We got all this talent. Bryce Huff. It's going to be interesting to see what they do, the starters, against the Eagles offensive line because it is one of the better offensive lines in the league. So that will be interesting to see. With our offensive line, we look at the Eagles defense. They got a good one there, too. They got Fletcher Cox. We know who that is. Javen Hargrave, Josh Sweet, uh, Josh Sweet on the other side, and now they got Jordan Davis in the middle. So that's a quality defensive line as well. So just like the Eagles' offensive line will give us a good indication, starters why what our defense, uh, what our de with our uh, <clears throat> excuse me, what our defensive line looks like. The Eagles' uh, defensive line is very good as well. So the Eagles' defensive line is going to give our offensive line they're going to have to show. I mean, I don't think Dwayne Brown's going to play. He's only been here less than, like, 24 hours. It, it would be shocking. I mean, he might. It's I, I doubt it, though. I'll be honest. I don't think he's going to play. Well, we'll see, right? It's on 7 o'clock in a little bit, so we'll see. <laughs> but as of right now, well, the offensive line, you know, Dwayne Brown's going to be plugged in, but it's going to be interesting to see how everyone else holds up. So that's a quality Eagles defensive line. So it's going to be interesting to see how our offensive line matches up. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we look at the Eagles secondary. It's pretty good. I mean, I think James Bradbury, I'll be honest, I think he's a little bit overrated. I'll be honest. But Darius Slay is not. And Avante Maddox, their nickel corner, is not. Those are two excellent corners. So Avante Maddox against Braxton Berrios, 
That's going to be interesting to watch. And then Darius Slay on the outside. Garrett Wilson's going to play a bit, obviously. Uh, Corey Davis is going to get time on the outside. Maybe Denzel Mims is going to get interesting time, which is good because he's a later starter, right? Just like Garrett Wilson is listed as a starter. So it might be Elijah Moore and Corey Davis getting the starter reps. So it'll be interesting to see how it makes more sense it slays on Corey Davis, but we'll see what the Eagles do. be interesting to see that matchup as well, to see how our starting wide receivers look against their corners because they're pretty good. Uh, again, not great, but uh, Darius Slay's pretty damn good. I mean, he's, well, he's a good one. So, <clears throat> and I think Avante Maddox is very good as well. So those are some matchups to definitely keep your eye on. Uh, definitely, it's going to be an interesting game. And this is our first uh, game, right? This is the first preseason game. So it's going to be interesting to see how our guys match up, how they look. But there's a lot of interesting matchups, right? One guy obviously didn't mention is Zach Wilson, right? That's a big one. How's he going to look? I'm excited, man. This is his first game again, and you know, before we uh, move on, obviously talk about Zach. <laughs> this is his first game now in his second year. It's so exciting, man. It's so exciting. I can't wait. Again, great receiving talent around him. But to see these matchups line up, right, his offensive line needs to hold up for him. And the Eagles have a really good defensive line. We were just talking about that. The Jets, if they're going to be a good defensive team, we know their pass rush needs to be good. Right? We need to have a pass rush for our defense to work. And the Eagles have a really good offensive line. So it's going to be interesting to see how those starters go. But back to Zach, man, we got the weapons, and the Eagles have a good team. Again, we set up a very good defensive line and a pretty damn decent secondary. So how our starters look will be good to watch. So Zach Wilson obviously is a story to watch. Brees Hall is another story to watch. See how much time he gets. Again, the Eagles have a pretty good defensive line. And if we're going to be talking about closing holes there, I mean, look, on the defense, we got... Fletcher Cox, Javon Hargrave. I mean, good luck opening holes against those individuals. I mean, I think our interior guys, it's gonna be, again, like I said, for our offensive line, it's going to be a good matchup because you're going to have Lake and Tomlinson and AVT matching up against those guys. So that's going to be a really big matchup to watch as well to see how those two go. But Brees Hall, man, he's shifty as hell. So it's going to be fun to watch Brees play. It's going to be fun to watch Michael Carter play. Obviously, Zach's somebody to watch. But those ones I mentioned, those are all big matchups. But if I had to pick the biggest one, I would probably say that A.J. Brown one, if Sauce Gardner's on him, is going to be really interesting to watch. If they have Sauce Gardner shadowing A.J. Brown, man, that's going to be exciting. Because if Sauce, again, he's a rookie playing in his first game. If he can just look to be starting to shut him down and they're going back and forth, that's a great sign. Because A.J. Brown is one of the best in the league. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the game. Game's in just a few hours. And let's go Jets, baby. Let's pull out a win. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets.